So today I wanted to show you how to get this sort of look. It is my everyday look that I wear for work. I work in an office environment and I take the London Underground every day. So this is something that I would just wear out generally and also it's brilliant for if you're going out for after work drinks and stuff. It just stays and it's really nice. You just need a little bit of touch up generally and you could also just change up your lipstick colour for evening add a little bit of extra eyeliner and things like that if you would like and I think it's a really nice look so I hope you enjoy and here's the tutorial one more quick thing I just like to mention the whole lighting situation in this this is a new setup and because it's really dark outside so there's no incoming natural light but I've got some artificial lights going on here and if you like the setup I can use this for other videos so please leave me a comment below on how you think this is doing for you and hopefully I can make some more videos for you even when it's really dark outside. So I've already prepped my skin with some seaweed mattifying moisture lotion from the body shop. I love this. It's got built in SPF 15 and I use this all year round literally because I love it so much. And I'm going to take a little bit of primer. The primer I'm using is the Skin Perfecting Primer Dewy Finish by Morad and I got this as a sample in a glossy box I believe. So I'm just going to put one pump not even a pump it's running out <laughs> a few squirts into my hand and then I'm just gonna using gently use my fingers spread it all over my face I'm so sorry about this lighting I wonder if I turn on a lamp if it will do anything just to give it some like a base to stick to Okay, so I'm taking my Hello Flawless Foundation. The This is by Benefit, and the one I have is in I'm So Money Honey. And I only use one pump of this. And I'm using the palm of my hand so it doesn't roll off. Sigma Flat Foundation Brush. I'm just going to dab this in and apply to my face. Now, I like to do my cheeks first because they're the biggest sections going right in to the corners underneath my eyes where my dark circles are and I just sort of paste it on like so then I go over the nose the feltrum the chin Under my lips. I don't like to put foundation on my lips, but I like to go right up to the edges. And then the rest of the foundation is for my forehead. Now I do have a side fringe, so I don't worry about my forehead that much. And then I just use the rest of the brush to just dab on any excess to the neck to blend in. Now I'm really sorry about the colours right now because it's really dark. It's about four it's four twenty six and the sun is gone. But I'm about to go out so I thought I'd just do a quick everyday makeup routine. MAC Studio Fix Concealer. This is in N C twenty and I know all these shades match my skin anyway so I'm really sorry you can't really see that in the lights but there we go the concealer and then I'm just going to use using my middle finger actually just going to go underneath my eyes for a brightening effect my battery's just about to die brilliant okay so I just moved around a bit because the light from the window has completely gone now since my battery ran out I had to charge it for a little bit so I've got my main light on and a lamp over here, so let's see how that goes. Taking a Bubby Buffer brush, which is a flat kabuki, pretty much. This is the NARS Pressed Powder, I believe, and this is in Beach. I'm just taking my buffer brush, just running it, running it just across here, and then just sort of buffing that onto my face. And this 
is to prevent any foundation sort of slipping off my face to sort of set it and also to mattify the skin so to make it not so shiny I mean you can still see like a little bit of shine through but it's not like wet and oily oil slick because we don't like that do we so sort of buff that in that's fine just going over the eye area as well the next thing I'm going to do is look at the eyes. I'm going to take the HD Brows Kit and this is in BAMP, which is the darkest shade I believe. And I'm just going to use the, the brush inside, the angled side of the brush, and I'm going to use the darker shade which is called Carbon. I'm just dabbing the brush in, start in the middle here where my arch is and sort of sweep it out because that's where my eye am sparse, the, the most sparse and then just sort of using sweeping motions to sort of go back to the beginning just sort of to define the brow a little bit more Barry M's Dad of Dust in number 39 can't remember what the shade is called but it's a beautiful peachy nude shade that I think suits everyone I'm just using an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush just taking a little bit on the end and dabbing off the excess I'm just going to pack that onto my eyelid and then just taking a small buffer brush and going back to the HD brows kit this time I'm going to pick this shade which is called rich brown and from the outer corner of my eye going to blend just to give a little bit of shadow it's just using windscreen wiper motions really and then this lighter shade which is nude just using the same brush and I'm just going to pop this just underneath the brow and to blend in with the shadow that you've just applied it's just like a really faint highlight which sort of opens up the eye a little as well. Now I'm going to use the Colossal Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline and this is quite a wet mascara so I like to put on a couple of coats, leave it to dry and then put another coat on afterwards. So for winter time I like to keep my face not too bronzed because there's no sun at the moment and I'm just going to use a little touch of pink blusher. This one I'm using is from New CID and this is called the Eye Blossom Pressed Powder Cheek Stamp. The colour I have is number one petal and this is really cool. It's like you twist it up and it pops out and it's like a stamper and you've got like a little blush in there and then this is a stamping thing which is a sponge on the end that sort of presses down. So I'm just going to use this to stamp on my cheeks, just two big circles there, and same on the other side. So I look a little bit like a doll freak now. Going back to my bubby buffer brush, and then I'm just going to sort of swirl in the pink blush across the top of my cheekbones. So I've just added another coat of my mascara just to help it stay and add a little bit more volume. Now I know some of you really like eyeliner so I would suggest is using the HD Brows Kit again and taking Carbon Angled Brush then you can just sort of push a little bit of colour into your bottom lashes. I don't know if you can see a big difference but it just helps to make your lashes appear a bit longer. So I'm only going halfway in and just sort of dragging it out. Just doing a little slight wing there. So to keep my makeup in place all day 
I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, the Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. So I like to use a couple of spritz, one on each side of my face, and that will help to keep my makeup in place all day while I'm at work. To finish off the look, I take my lipstick. At the moment, this is my favourite work lipstick. It's by NARS and it's called Senorita. And it's a beautiful, sort of pinky, shiny lipstick with gold reflex in it. So, just going to apply. And I always like to put it on the bottom lip first. I don't know why, but there's a thing I have. I love this lipstick because it's not too bright so it's still very appropriate for the office but it's really like sort of sophisticated and it really helps to add a natural tint and shine to your natural lip. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye! Yes, I'm going to have to sit like this but this is okay. Then I am taking a Bubby Bruffer Bruffer. And then I would just like to let my hair down. My hair is not combed. But then going back to my Bobby Bruffer brush. Bruffer brush. <laughs>